All right, guys, so this is a very simple exercise to demonstrate how you would calculate opportunity cost. So again, assume that we were looking at this example where we had a construction company and it has a choice of producing one of two products, houses or roads. And let's say that we've got these four points, so point A, point B, point C, point D on our production possibility frontier. Now, if we were to translate these points into numbers, this is the example that we have. So point A, 100 houses, and in return we get zero roads. Point B, 90 houses, and in return we get one road. Point C, 50 houses, and in return we get two roads. And then finally point D, where you where the company is producing zero houses, and in return we're getting three roads. So to calculate opportunity cost of producing one road, what you have to look at is the change that happens as you shift from zero road production at point A to single road production at point B. And for that, this is 100 minus 90, and that's 10. So the opportunity cost of producing that single road is the amount of houses that you have to forego, and that's 100 minus 90, and that, that's equal to 10. Again, if we were to repeat that for other points, so as we move from point one to point, so sorry, from point B to point C, so from a single road to two roads, that additional road, the cost of that is basically 90, take away 50, and that's equal to 40. And then finally, for the last point, so from point C to point D, where you're producing three roads at point D and only producing two roads at point uh, C. So that opportunity cost of the additional road that you get as you move from two roads to three roads, that's equal to 50. Take away zero, that's equal to 50. So you can see this gives us the number of houses foregone in order to produce additional roads as we move along the production possibility frontier.